Hey everybody, Fwip here, and welcome to episode one of my Minecraft Hardcore Survival World. And hopefully we have more than one episode in this one here, folks, because recently I did a stream and let's just say things ended a little abruptly. We got one blaze rod. I'm actually insane. Just kidding, I really suck. Now I'm dead. <laughs> Starting out here today though, you might see we've got a little bit of the texture pack action on here. I've decided to create a Flip Essentials texture pack for this one that pretty much removes everything except the bushy leaves, as well as the custom paintings that I use, because I like to use them a little bit for more decoration, things like that. But anyways, we are here in a brand new Minecraft 1.16.2 Hardcore Survival World, and I want to see just how long we can survive. For all of you that are big fans of building with Whip, don't be worried because I wanna bring a lot of those ideas that I learned throughout the process of building with Whip into this world here and see if we can create something truly amazing. I'm just getting a few oak trees here to get ourselves started, but holy cow, we are right next to a flower forest, which I think is really, really cool. Let's take a few of these double tall ones, like one of each, so we can at least get a little bit of foliage for ourselves, and I would love to find some sheep. There's some sheep right over there, perfect. And there's a swamp right behind them. Oh, awesome. This is a random seed. So everybody who's gonna ask down in the comments below, I did not pick a seed for this one. This is completely random. Let's avoid that lava right there. We don't need to touch that today. And I don't know what's going on here. I know literally nothing about this world. I just created it, I uploaded it, and that's all we did. Sometimes starting out a new survival world is just the best thing you could possibly do. When I get down on myself, sometimes I actually just come throughout here and create a random survival world that I don't even like show you all. I just kind of mess around here for an hour or two and it's just so fun to me. So I'm really, really excited to be getting this started here soon. This is my second time ever playing Minecraft Hardcore and hopefully we can last a good while. Let's get some food off of these cows for ourselves as well. Today, I want to see if we can't get a starter house set up. Something that I think will be great for us to avoid avoid the first few nights in, get a little bit further along in the game, and then do as much of the progression side of things as we possibly can. I'm not expecting it to be very much, but I think we'll be able to get something really cool down here. There is a witch hut right there with a witch inside of it. That, my friends, we do not want to go near at all. I would love to find some bees out here, though. Some bees in this area would be sweet to have, but that's something that we'll need to remember. As we're going to be doing a little bit of running, and because I already got it, let's go ahead and get our bed, and we can now survive the first night by uh, not touching the first night, and I think that's going to be perfect. It's exactly how I like to spend my first night in a survival world. We don't have it. But I got a question for you all here, is let me know some goals that you have in mind for me for this hardcore series here obviously we've got the dragon we've got getting an elytra we've got the end cities all that cool stuff killing the wither and everything there but i want to do some more building focus goals and more progression focus goals outside of what we have inside of the advancements i kind of would do a very traditional minecraft let's play style of i want to get like the iron farms and all those technical things and make like a unique building for each of them and make them all look super cool and have them very in line with everything. So I'm super excited for it, but I would love to hear back from you all in the comments below of what we should be doing along those lines. Now, is there any, there is some coal down here, so let's get this. And while y'all are down there, or if you decide to not leave a comment, that's cool too, but if you could do me a massive favor on this one, folks, and click that like button down below, I would love to see if we can get 10,000 likes on this episode. That'd be absolutely awesome, but it's time for me to get a little bit of this Minecraft action going on here. If anything fun comes up besides me apparently starving to death, I'll be sure to let you all know. There's a zombie down there with an iron shovel, and I don't think I want to touch that dude right now. We are just going to turn around and walk away. Temporary base camp alpha over here was able to get a good amount of food for us as I gathered up a lot more coal, but it's time to move on and see if we can't find a bit more of a forever home, forever home for ourselves here. I'm seeing some mountains over there and a new biome, and let's jump into the river. Why not fall a bunch of blocks? That's safe, right? The first night appears to be setting upon us as we've entered into a plains biome over here, and I think it's time that we can gather these cows, and I think we are sleeping under the stars tonight. Hello, big boy. How you doing? No, no, please, no. I just, please, night's coming. Come on, I just need to murder you before nighttime. Thank you. All right, that's fantastic. And our first sleep of the night, respawn point has been set. I don't know if that's quite true. I don't know if that's quite true, Minecraft. I've been peeping into a bunch of these surface level cave systems to see if I can't find any iron in it that we could nab safely and quickly because right now I'm not feeling too ready to go inside of any sort of a cave. 
Because if we run into a creeper at all, even with fully enchanted diamond armor, they will destroy us. Anything down here? I did see some iron off the corner of my screen, though. And there we go, our first iron. Let's not stand on top of the gravel while we get this, because that could be a recipe for in one. We got one iron, folks. Just one. That is enough, however, to make a shield, which is the best thing we get. And there's some more. Okay, we are jumping down here. We're about to do it. We're doing it. I'm feeling ready. How we feeling? Right there. Okay, that was a probably a bad decision to make, but we did it anyways. Let's just keep moving forwards. It was a risk that we took there, folks, but it paid off for us in terms of a good amount of iron. How much is that? 12 iron. That'll actually get us going there for a good while. That's almost half of the iron we need for a full set of iron armor, and then I feel like I can take on some zombies. Speaking of taking on zombies, why am I walking down here? I don't know. Let's run away. Looking ahead of us right now, there is an awesome looking mountain up here with some spruce trees. So I'm gonna make sure we get a sapling or two off of there for ourselves. But oh my gosh, who here is excited for the new Minecraft 1.17 news? That is so awesome to hear about the caves and mountains updates. Oh my gosh, I am ready for some new mountains to be put in these games. The teaser images they showed, I gotta say a little similar to the ones that I've made in the past. So I'm pretty happy about that one. Seeing as I kind of took the right direction for what they were thinking there, but let's get these spruce trees up for ourselves. Thanks, Axe. You lasted a long time there, buddy. All right, well, I was chopping down these trees up here. I managed to smelt up some of the iron, so we got that going for ourselves here. And I think it's time that we craft up a shield, because that is probably going to help us the most out of this, out of anything we can get right now. I think a shield will be the thing that saves us. So I want to get a shield. I want to get an iron pickaxe so we can get one of those. And then I was thinking we've got eight left. So if we do that, that's a chest plate. Or I think we could do... No, that, we're going to be one short. So let's go ahead and get a chest plate because I think that's the most iron armor that we can get right there. So we've got a stone axe. We've got our shield. And let's go ahead and put this in our offhand. And then we've got our pickaxe as well. And I think that's, uh, that's going to help us about as much as it can right now. Wandering into the Minecraft unknown is something that I feel like is just so fun. I, I understand why people always start new worlds and everything like that just after doing it a few times recently. And oh my gosh, it is just incredibly fun. There's a dark oak forest right over there. Yeah, exactly what I wanted. That is going to be perfect. Strip dark oak has recently turned into one of my favorite blocks in the entire game. So I want to use that a bunch while building around here. And let's hope we don't fall off the mountain after we get out of bed in the morning. I know dark oak forests can tend to be pretty deadly to live inside of just because, you know, they're kind of dark. That's kind of part of it. So I'd love to be able to just take some of the logs from it and move around somewhere else. I'm th Oh, if that lava was in there, that middle of that field plains area would be awesome. There's the swamp over there because we kind of came from that direction a little bit. So this is actually returning us a little bit back direction towards where spawn was. So that's pretty cool. For now, I think I just need to spend some time getting some logs so we can actually build with. Gathered up over two stacks of the dark oak logs, which is awesome. And got a few saplings to get ourselves started. Hopefully they'll be able to get something here moving in the future. and We can get enough to continue on forwards. But I would love to. I've realized that I really want to settle on the coast somewhere. I don't really want to settle too far inland. I like the idea of being on the ocean, and I think we head back towards that swamp biome area that we're at. Are we safe? Are we safe? So far, we're safe. I did see some iron down here. I'm going to be a little greedy. We're breaking rule number one of don't go underground until you're ready, but we have to get iron somehow, so I guess we're doing this. Yep, the chance of me dying by falling in a ravine is uh, very high, I'm sure. <laughs> That was not my best move right there, but moving on. You can really tell when it's a builder playing hardcore versus a hardcore playing hardcore. When you start collecting all the different types of flowers and saplings and everything like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're definitely really, really trying to survive this hardcore stuff over here. I think we might need to get on top of these mountains to get a good viewpoint. The last mountains we were on were way the heck over there, so this will give us a whole new area to look at. Oh my gosh, we found one. A mega taiga biome. Holy cow, am I excited for that. That is my favorite biome in all of Minecraft. I would absolutely love to live in there. If we can find a spot inside of the Mega Taiga that is next to like an ocean, if it borders on the ocean on any side, we are picking that. I don't care where it is, we're picking that, and I almost just got very excited and fell off of here. Well, we made it into the Mega Taiga area, and it is terrifyingly dark inside of that hole in the ground, and so we're going to just keep on walking away from that. One of my favorite things about this is, one, the pods are on the floor, but two, this is the only biome that has some sort of a boulder in it. So we have mossy stone all over this place, which would be great for building for one, and two, it's just cool to look at. It's so cool to just have to have in the background scenery of wherever you live, there's some cool boulders around there. 
And yes, they are very nice boulders. Crank in our view distance up to 11. Well, not exactly 11 chunks, but you know, figuratively cranking it up to 11. We can see everything up here. And all I can see is Mega Taiga. All I can see is Mega Taiga with the spot of the mountains over there. We've got a little bit of the swamp action right over there. Not the type of place that I really want, but I really want to see if I could find anything else over here. And this Mega Taiga forest is mega. It's kind of in the name. It really makes sense here now. Wow. I guess it's time to keep exploring for a little while. This tree was uh, not very helpful to go all the way up to the top of. I was expecting a much better result up here. Feast your eyes upon the oceans of Mega Taglandia. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even say that with a straight face. Uh, moving on. Oh my gosh, look at this stretch of the river here. This thing is glorious. Look how wide this is. I just wanted a large body of water. This is amazing down here. Also, for anybody who wants it, I realize that I can actually get the seed command. So if you would like it, there it is in the chat for you right there. You can go and pause the video and copy that. If you'd like to play on the same world here, you are more than welcome to, my friends. But please be sure to not spoil things in the comments. I read a lot of the comments and I would hate to hear like, oh, and look at these coordinates. You will find a blah, blah, blah spawner. Please don't do that. But anything else is more than, and there's an oak forest right out this side. I was really hoping that we could get something more fun, like an ocean, but that's fine. Maybe we just live on the river right back there. The Mega Taiga meets Ocean Dream is uh, quickly being crushed the more and more I s walk around this area. So we are going to settle down right over here for now. If we want to move on to have another home or another village or something like that down the road, we can moor or maybe down the river. Hmm, down the river. That sounds pretty cool, but we can more than likely do that. I'm hoping that we can at least get one village set up before we die. If we can get a few towns and things set up, I would absolutely love that one. But folks... It is time for us to kick this off into good old-fashioned time-lapse mode and build up our starter house. For our starter house today, I didn't want to go with the mega starter houses that I typically go for because I wanted to purposefully make this one smaller. So you're going to see a smaller blueprint coming in here for a second. This is just going to be an entry area for a little bit of storage, a little bit of smelting action, sleeping area, and all that sort of stuff because I want to give ourselves the purpose of needing to create other buildings, needing to create other areas for stuff to be functional within those. But you can see inside of here we're using stripped dark oak, we're using spruce on the roof, and then we're using some oak and stripped oak log. And then I brought in some smooth sandstone over there, which took way too long to harvest up. And unfortunately, during this time, we had our first run in ever with a hostile mob in here. And we got our first kill on a skeleton and unfortunately took an arrow right to the back of the ankle. Almost the knee, though. Could have been very, very bad here. But moving on, finish up the top of this house. It's just kind of bringing everything in here together. I wanted to kind of round out the top of this one. So using some slabs and full blocks up there instead of just continuing the stairs up. And then we got the nice little chimney there to top it all off. And here we have it, folks. Welcome to my new humble abode over here. I really like this one. I think it turned out really well. I've been kind of watching all the crops grow up. We got the sugar cane to harvest and everything like that. And I've done a little bit of interior decorating inside this spot. And I think it's looking great. This front window up there is mostly decoration right now. It's not very functional. But coming inside, you can kind of you can kind of see out of it. You can see the time of day, at least. And that's what's important. And then we've got these guys over here and all this kind of stuff is going on. And it's looking great. We've just got a bunch of barrels around for storage right now. As I mentioned, very much a starter storage area. I don't want to add much more to this than what we have right now. I do want to bring in a little bit more variation and decorate a little bit better than what we have. But right now, we just got some flowers. The smooth sandstone was a complete pain in the butt to get. And then up here, I've kind of slightly organized a lot of our chests so that we can have some stuff going around. And what I want to work on next is we are actually going to need some shears for because we need uh, we need some carpet. There's a way that we can trick mobs to not even start to walk into our area. So if anybody, any zombies break down a door, they still won't be able to walk inside. I think that's going to be really important for keeping ourselves safe if we accidentally go AFK or something like that without realizing it because I'm so used to playing regular survival, it doesn't matter if I die. In here, I wanna be extra sure just in case something happens. We don't have to worry about anything. And only one, seriously, seriously, sheepies. There we go, that's exactly what I needed. So if I remember correctly, you only need two carpets here, but for me, I'm kind of doubting myself. So I'm gonna do three layers of carpet and that should trick the mob AI into not walking over the area. It thinks it'll fall down into a pit 
So if we do that, then we can walk over the top of it, obviously, get in and out. But if any mobs break down the doors, they're not going to be able to walk over that little bit of carpet right there, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Farmer Flip has been out here working his butt off, folks, and I have been spending a good while here gathering up the wheat, gathering up a bunch of sugar cane and doing all that stuff because I want to work towards getting that early enchanting table. I think it's going to be very important for ourselves to get an enchanting table and be able to survive a little bit. And while I was doing that, I saw something through the trees over here which i'm very interested in but first and foremost we need to get some cows we'll be working towards that stuff here soon any easy iron down there and that's a creeper i don't like that's not easy iron not not easy at all i really need a bow that guy if he explodes he will kill me 100 percent just like that zombie right there okay then that's um yep that's that that just happened i don't like this at all we need to Please stop. Please stop. Why is there... Is there a spawner down here or something? Why are there so many mobs? No, they weren't. Why are there four mobs right down in there? There's another cave right down below this iron, and I am uh, not even going to touch it, folks. I'm not even going to touch that. We're just going to leave this right in here for now, get the last of our iron, and run away, because I don't even want to think about going into a cave right now. Except we're going into this cave, because that's more iron. Oh, there's a lot of iron down here. Oh, there's a lot of iron. Distractions aside, we can smelt up everything in here and that'll be all good. And now, my friends, I'm going to get out there and try and find some cows for myself because I think that's going to be very, very important to do. Moving forward, we need a few cows that we can bring back home. I got scared, so I ended up going back and crafting up some iron armor for myself. So we got full iron armor now. We've got a new iron pickaxe in case we find something cool out here. And so far, I'm not very lucky on finding any of the cows that we need. And that is a big drop down here. I've been traveling so long as getting to be nighttime here. I'm seeing some lava, though, which if only we had a way to take that back with us. I didn't bring any bun. There's lava right down there, too. That would have been death. Finally, we've come across a plains biome out here, which hopefully means we can find something to take home with us. I'm really... I, why ain't there no... Am I just blind? Am I just like making animals want to run? Oh, there's a house horse, not a house, a horse quite different. Oh, there's even a bee up there. Look at the little bee. Oh, he's so cute. At this point, I feel like I should turn back home and just find something closer to home because I am a uh, way, way too far away. I just kind of started walking in a straight line and that was a very stupid idea. There's even there's still no cows out here. How can there not be any cows in this point of the world? Wait, what? Um, who is that? Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, he hello? I, I'm going to take my sword out here. It's it's Joel. What? Uh, hi? Me? This is my world. Oh, he's already got a bell. He found a village. Are you kidding me? No flip, it's our world now? Oh, uh, I guess the bell... I, gu I guess the bell has spoken? Oh god, I, I, oh, what, I, what, that's not a good way to start this, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know what to do here, I'm not ready for this, I'm not ready to fight you, or any of your friends, I don't have a cow, how are we supposed to get rid of these, did he just, he just ran back up the hill, I'm running up the hill with him, okay, I feel safe here now, this is good, oh my god, yeah, this, this is, good. that, it's just a, a little bit better over in this point, <laughs> that uh, was, I uh, saw you just stood there, they just started pairing, I was like, oh no, <laughs> I'm so scared of everything for it. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. That was uh that was a brutal start. Hi uh, yeah, hi though. Hi, how hi, are you doing? How's it going? Do you like my bell? Yeah, it's that's a nice that's a nice bell. I'm sure I'm sure they think it's a very nice bell as well. Yeah. Oh gosh. Hopefully they didn't hear it. I was. It was just you know to attract attention to you because uh, I was not expecting to see you here. This is weird, but yeah, I, this I see is... that you're also playing hardcore Minecraft. I I am. I'm trying not to die over here, and you bring those guys to me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but um, I'm not going to take the full responsibility yet. Maybe in the yet, future. Yet. Yet. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah that's that's yeah, that's, that's really I sorry. I see that you've uh, you're already looking better than me with your shield. I uh, I forgot to make one of those. Although I haven't really seen any mobs yet, and I've been sleeping. As it soon uh, as it I survived a creeper earlier. I survived my first oh. creeper. I'm pretty proud of that. It still exploded, but I I didn't die, so I'm I'm happy with that one. So oh you know, my gosh, good. I've seen one, but I ran far away. I I'm I'm very scared, but I'm hoping to get geared up properly soon. I do have this, which I can kind of flex to you. A diamond? Wait, what? Yeah. Where'd you get Found diamonds? Found it by accident. I uh, in a cave. Well, not oh in a my. cave. I stripped my. I was mining out cobblestone, and I just found it. I was like, Oh, oh my god! It. I dude, I still haven't even went underground yet. I've I've only d 
slightly dove into those surface caves where you can kind of see the <laughs> iron. I haven't went any further down than that. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, uh, I'm living quite far away over in that direction. How far away? I, I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, about a three or four stake journey to get here. So, oh, mm. okay. Well, I was, maybe... I was trying to find cows. So, uh, hopefully I can get some on the way back. We'll see. I'm not entirely sure what I was trying to find. I was just, just wandering but uh yeah so i, I presume in the future when we get a lighter and stuff if, if we make it that far yeah if we get I that far it'll it be great far. um i will say it's uh we got it's time for a little little bit of a, oh. a nappy here lovely it's... uh running into you into the wilderness here um one day yeah. so we might we might be united in this might meet again. crazy world it's, uh... It's a bit of a long trip at the moment, though, so I'll probably just leave you to it. Yeah, so, have fun. Uh, don't die so I can find you again. That would be... Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be it's nice. it's kind of nice not being alone in the world, you know? Maybe... Yeah. You know, having having a friend. Yeah. We could be if pen pals. If trade anything, then... Uh, oh, yeah, here, you know what? I, I You can have a fern. Oh. Have uh, a fern. I, oh, you can... Oh, take that. <gasps> I will. I found that in a, in a chest, so you can have it now. Headed back home from the unsuccessful expedition to find some cows where we ran across a Joel inside of the world. I really wonder if we're alone, just the two of us in here, or if anybody else is around. I don't really know, man. But I did come across this area, which is really cool. I found a village. That's great. I want to see if we can find any goodies inside of here. And a cave that we can fall into is not a goodie. Oh, we've got potatoes and sweet berries. Oh, perfect. We can actually make some things now. We got some more ferns for ourselves, too. And we don't need rotten flesh. Nah, not at all. Ooh, there's a brewing stand inside of here. Let's take this one with us. I definitely want that. This is one of the most unsafe villages I have ever seen. There's another hole in the middle of the street that goes into lava. What the heck, game? How could you generate like this? Ooh, what do we got here? <gasps> Obsidian. And an iron sword, iron armor, a gold ingot, more bread. Apples will be great, though, because we can also turn that into some awesome, whatchamacallit stuff, golden apples. Those are going to be very important, so let's put our oak sapling back. We got some of those at home. Now, this, my friends, is much more like it. We've got four cows for ourselves, and our house is actually just on the other side of that there mountain, so it will be pretty easy to get these ones home. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. I don't know what it is, but to me, folks, I feel like running around in iron armor like this, like with a shield and just getting started, this is such like a Minecraft vibe, you know? <laughs> like, this is just the epitome of starting a new Minecraft world. Full iron armor, you've got your shield, and you're luring cows back to your base with the little bit of wheat that you have. That is such a beginning Minecraft thing, and I'm, I am here for it. And here we are, your new forever home until I decide to eat you. Welcome on in. No, and that guy was just like, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm uh, I'm not taking this forever home. You can just, I'm headed back to my pastures. They were much greener than these. And there we go. Now we've got our cows in here. They're just out the back door inside the place. I threw another window in here so we can watch them and everything. And it's just great. Now we got this little spot in here. I don't think they can walk inside either. I don't think they'll be able to come in over that carpet. And I lit it up just in case some creepers spawn in here. The amount of times I've died due to a creeper spawning in the middle of my group of cows, my little cow pens that I have, is way too much. So we are avoiding that as much as we can. And that, my friends, has been a absolutely jam-packed first episode of the hardcore Minecraft 1.16 survival series here. Who knows if this is single player? Who knows if it's multiplayer? I don't really know. Joel is so far away that I don't think we're going to be interacting with him very much unless a big event is coming up, which I think would be really cool. I want to do most of the stuff myself inside of here, so I am totally okay with that one. But thank you all so very much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to click that like button down below. Subscribe if you are brand new, my friends, and want to see more of this series coming here and let me know down in the comments below what ideas you all have and i will catch you on the flip side